Alright, here we are in the next level, the Urshul Suburbs. And right off the bat, we have our first secret, which is a serious bomb on that ledge. And like in the previous level, we have to stack these crates, which are somehow twitching on their own, and jump, jump up onto that ledge. Yeah, basically the game is saying, hey, you went through a bunch of bullshit getting the secret in the previous level, and now you gotta do it all over again. Well, you know what, game? Blow me. Because I discovered another way of getting that serious bomb. By hopping along this ledge to it. If I can get to it, that is. Secret serious bomb there we go. Has been collected. So yeah. Fuck you, game. I'm not going through the exact same bullshit that I went through in the previous level. Alright. Now, there's a serious power-up right here. This is the serious score power-up. And I will go ahead and pick that up in a minute. Right now we have some new enemies here. We have the spiky bulldog. The doctor attacking. If you save the Simba, he might have something for you. They better not crap in my yard. Yeah, you won't have to worry about that, Sam. And we have a new weapon here. Double the gun, double the fun. Dual Uzis. Yep, we got Uzis now instead of uh, instead of the Tommy gun. Now, what the serious score power-up does is that it doubles the amount of score that you get for killing enemies and picking up items. I think it doubles the amount, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But yeah, the serious score power-up is a great way for racking up big points for extra lives. And I'm definitely going to... Yep, there we go. Maybe if we can hurry this up, I might be able to get another one. Yeah, the spiky bulldogs here don't do much. They just run up you and try to chomp you with their teeth. Alright, now for those primitives. And there goes my serious score. Oh well. I was hoping to get a second extra life with it, but nope. That did not happen. Anyway, let's have a look around here, because I know for a fact that there's some treasure bags scattered throughout this level. One of them is in this very yard, right over here. There we go. Now, what can I talk about here? Oh! My dad and I saw Jaws in theater a couple of days ago, and it was fucking awesome. I just loved every second of it. And we have a new enemy here. This is the zombie stockbroker, and they're basically armed with shotguns. And we're going to be fighting a bunch of them throughout this level, along with more bulldogs, and maybe a couple of full soldiers. But anyway, yeah, um, my dad and I saw Jaws in theaters. Um, as I said, the movie is celebrating its 40th anniversary by being re-released in theaters. And, um, I had a lot of fun. I was really enjoying the movie. Yeah, to be able to see one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, uh, from the 70s. Yeah, one of my all-time favorite movies, my all-time favorite from the 70s. It's, uh, quite an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, let's get the next secret here. Let's kill the chicken. And find a health cube. Um... Okay, I blew up the barrel to kill a zombie stockbroker and another one spawned out of the barrel. Seems legit, I guess. 
Um. Is there anyone else here? I bet there's like another zombie stockbroker around here somewhere. Yep, there he is. Alright. Now for the next secret, let's press the switch to spawn a giant zombie stockbroker. Secret has been found. And he gets KO'd by our old friend Boxing Barry. Yeah, it's good to have him back. But anyway, back to what I was talking about, about Jaws. Oh so yeah, um, saw Jaws in theaters and I was enjoying every second of it. I was especially leaning forward in my seat when Roy Scheider said the line, you're gonna need a bigger boat. I fucking love that line. I think that due to the fact that uh, that that line was improvised by Roy Scheider himself, and it's become like uh, one of the greatest movie lines ever since. Anyway, let's have the Uzi down to fight off. No, the Uzi, not the rocket launcher. Um, but yeah, like I said, Jaws is one of my all-time favorite movies. Top three, easily. Um, and that's only the first of several movies that my dad and I will be seeing this summer. Yeah, like... Thank you for interrupting me yet again, Daddy. Anyway, yeah, like I said before in my in my uh, Descent Three Let Play, there's a few movie playing at the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk that my dad and I will be going to. One of them will be playing tomorrow. Um, let's head over here to this alley for the next secret. It's a platform with some rockets. Secret rockets have been found. And once we pick up the rockets, a couple of full soldiers will spawn. Oh, something I forgot to mention. Um, when you pick up ammo that you're currently full, uh, that that currently at the maximum capacity, you'll still pick them up anyway, just so you can get points for uh, extra lives and such. Same thing goes with health and armor. But anyway, I thought I'd throw that out there before I forget. Anyway, let's we'll see what this guy wants. Hi. Hi. What do you have for me? Ooh, a sniper rifle. Oh yeah. Already I feel trigger happy. And I think that guy might be trigger happy too. Yeah, that guy right there is the zombie soldier, and he is armed with a minigun, and he is very, very accurate with it. He can even snipe you with it from a from a very long distance. Alright, now for the next secret. Let's stand right here and press the user on this curtain. For more treasure. Secret treasure has been found. Alright. Zombie soldier, meet Clodovic. Same for you two bull soldiers. All right. Oh, there's more forks here. Yep. I forgot about them. All right. There we go. Now for the last secret, which requires a sniper rifle. We need to shoot down five targets to spawn a secret armor. And I somehow missed that target. Secret armor has been found. And there we go. Alright, now let's carry on over to the next area. Fight off some primitives and other enemies. Well, I do love the party. But I don't like to clean up the mess. 
Oh, somebody has to clean up the mess. But yeah, like I said in my Descent 3 let play, there are movies playing at the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk on Wednesday night during the summer. And the first one playing tomorrow night is The Lost Boys. Yeah. They always start movie nights up on the beach with The Lost Boys because, well, that movie was shot there in Santa Cruz. Which I think is uh, pretty fucking awesome. And, um, I don't know if I said this in my Descent 3 Let's Play or not, but this will be my first time seeing The Lost Boys. I, I might have- oh, fuck. Okay, I tried throwing a grenade at, uh, that soldier when he's up there on that ledge. How silly of me. Boom! Headshot. <laughs> Oh, and uh, not only will there be movie playing at the boardwalk, but there's also um, free Friday night concerts. My dad and I went to one last week. We saw Eddie Money, and um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, there are a few concerts that we'll be going to. We'll be seeing um, Blue Oyster Cult and Smash Mouth. And... Uh, a Beatle tribute band called the Sun Chains. Ah, God damn. I have had enough of you! <laughs> Send that a-hole flying. Okay, seriously game? Of all the game engines, you had to pick the shittiest one of all. Anyway. What the hell? Did that bulldog just end up on that roof? So anyway, yeah. Movies on the beach and concerts at the beach. We got quite a hell of a summer quite a hell of a summer in store for us. Anyway. Let's fight up some more primitive. So that we can get to the final ba uh, the final area. Yeah. All right. Look, this could be a prison. The Simba Shaman must be inside. Where did you learn all that stuff? Anyway, and I. Uh, yeah, I blew up that fountain right there. You'll see why in a minute. Right now, let's take care of all the bulldogs and tank soldiers. Or, not tank soldiers, bull soldiers. And I should point out, it is a little bit difficult to um, shoot down enemy rockets with weapons like the Uzis and such because of the bullet spread. Yeah, the Uzis are not that are not as accurate as the Tommy gun from the previous Serious Sam game. Anyway. So yeah, the reason why I blew up that fountain is because there is a serious damage power-up. Wherever it is. Here it is. Yep, the serious damage power-up is back. And let's go ahead and use it right now. And there's also a serious score power-up around here somewhere. If I can remember how to, uh, how to get to it. Oh, I see a vase right there. Is that where it is? Okay, I don't think I'm hitting that vase at all. There's that goddamn tree in the way. Oh, there it is, right there. I'll go ahead and pick that up. Oh, yeah, serious damage and serious score. Yeah, it's 
I was saying serious damage earlier, wasn't I? Ah, I hit it when I don't pay attention to what I to what I say. That happens a lot. By the way, how is Sam still able to throw a hand grenade while holding two Uzi? He's throwing grenades with his dick. Yeah, that's uh, that's just not right. But whatever, we're almost done with this level. And all the enemies are being spawned by that giant mask. And my crosshair turned green when I put my crosshair over the mask, like it has health. But I can't do any damage to it at all. So I would like to, so stop it from spawning more enemies. But here's the last wave of enemies. Let's end this level with a bang. Yeah. Now, where will I find that shop? Ha ha! A fountain of wishes. Now, where did I put those coins? Ah, here's one. I wish, I wish. Show me the way to the imprisoned Simba Shaman. Hmm. Ah, there he is. And that was the Urkel Suburb. And Quite weird how Sam's still able to use that fountain even though I blew it up earlier to get the serious damage power up. But who gives a crap? We're all done with that level. So I will see you guys next time as we enter the prison and rescue the Simba Shaman. See you later.